This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by ShireSociety.com. Join up and move to New Hampshire for more freedom. The Americans adore a television program in which the aliens are Kang and Kodos, if memory serves, subdue the Earth with slingshots because the humans have so thoroughly neutered themselves of weaponry. Is this innocence what has unfolded <clears throat> yet again in the now damaged offices of Virginia Beach's monopoly government? For such reports as I have ingested show an arsenal on the part of this bureaucrat, a gunman, not so impressive at the scene. Apparently, not very much weaponry is required to riddle the defanged with cavities and in numbers large enough to call them a massacre or the outpourings of it. And even on that question, we may not avail ourselves of the microscopic satisfaction which would result from knowing the precise level of gun liberty or restriction which existed at the site of the horrible crime. For well, this critical question is gone, as it almost always does, unasked by the prostitute media. A start paging of ten minutes length re reveals only a Breitbart report which asserts that the environs may have suffered from a firearms forbiddance and in any instance we know the many though not unlimited obstacles which afflict the Virginia resident wishing to protect themselves and their own by the most appropriate and effective tools. How many of these body bag fests would have been mere shootouts had it been otherwise? And why is it so knee-jerkerous that the instrument of the destruction be made the key focus rather than the lamentable profession so often taxpayer funded of the murderous foe. If it took years for the deranged male carrying gunmen to affix the word postal to our vocabularizings and acquire it with such a new and sinister uh, significance. Perhaps it will also be so with the phrase going bureaucratical. How many, or should we say how few, of these gunnings en masse are inflicted by citizens, untainted by experience in an armed force of government origin or in its employ or under its supervision sometimes involuntary. Where is the human cry for restrictions upon bureaucraticals and their ability to restrict legitimate defensives even by their own kind which is not our kind? How many more asks one authoritarian who worries he has too much freedom. The answer is perhaps several per year of this size or larger and for an indefinite period until uh, all the locales in these uneasily united states cast aside their fixation upon collective punishment and restriction of counter-effective legal solutions to what are uh, perhaps 
better described as physical or mental problems. Lamentations sometimes with a medicinal a medicinal source itself rooted in the cartels of gross pharma. Yet another inter interrogatory unasked in the stampede against neutral potentially murder thwarting mechanisms which may be held by the waste not imagined in edicts or minutes away while seconds matter you know it is a safe province in which you are living perhaps the uh, principality of new hampshire when the when the headliner topping your state's largest lapdog paper reads as follows quote auburn man is accused of allowing unauthorized state inspections at dairy auto shop unquote <laughs> so it reads and so it was placed on unionleader.com today june 3rd uh, 2019 <laughs> perhaps we should call our migratory endeavor uh, to bring liberty and libertarians uh, to new hampshire the tranquil state project instead of the free state project about the other summarizings of this day's newspaper though perhaps not its news a snapshot the remaining and darker ta darker tale of an authority possessed of too much time on its hands and too many of these tranquilites thus harassed quote NH physician assistant gets four years in federal prison for fentanyl kickback scheme. Unquote. Eight arrested during Manchester Operation Granite Shield drug sweep. Plastow def uh, well, unquote. Oh, you'll visit a Plastow perhaps later. Uh, buried somewhere on this list is a story of an actual crime a man is seized for allegedly chaining a woman and child to a bed Although perhaps child is not the word I should use I am uncertain of the age but the list of privations on just this one day continues perhaps you might call them privations unnecessary quote man charged after dog discovered in car outside Merrimack outlets unquote where warns of data breach of arrest records unquote perhaps a dog may be a victim even in such a cool summer as this not even yet begun uh, perhaps towns feel it is uh, it is all right for them to uh, force the citizens and non-citizens into their systems and records only to uh, mislay the latter into the hands perhaps of hackers quote plastow defense contractor fined five hundred thousand dollars for fraud unquote how a few of these lamentations could occur were this in actuality a free state unencumbered as we are not yet unencumbered by the hubricious and unaccountable whimmings of monopoly governance with the removal of one layer uh, perhaps the federal layer of it suffice to recountenance us 
toward the sunlit uplands of a greater peace and wealth than even this region knows? Who wants strict know-your-customer requirements? High Bitcoin. Who wants strict know-your-customer requirements? High BTC fees or hidden costs? There's a better way to turn your crypto into fiat and vice versa. Local.bitcoin.com Their private peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin Cash marketplace accepts any kind of mainstream payment service. They've also got a referral program. Get your link today. They've also got a referral program. Get your link set up today. Whether cashing out crypto or buying a lot, local.bitcoin.com is your spot. Whether cashing out crypto or buying a lot, local.bitcoin.com is your spot. Whether cashing out a crypto or buying a lot, local.bitcoin. <clears throat> Whether cashing out crypto or buying a lot, local.bitcoin.com is your spot. Perhaps it would not, but it would be a grand start. And meanwhile, we must content ourselves with such obstacles as we may place against the many usurpations by authoritarians, more local, whose busy buddings are so numerous that they fill even this one publication and this one day, with this questionable litany of their misdeeds. Uh, but unlike uh, the publication which you read, and you're a, a slave state, this one comes, as many do, with two charming reminders of the hope in which we deposited ourselves and now dwell in our adopted home. One reads, quote, Second attempt at tax cap ballot question comes up short. Unquote. It reminds the disheartened and all others, if they have been attentioning as they should, how one dedicated immigrant to our privileged province made the difference between success and failure of a charter which now limits the government of Manchester from raising its spending greater than the rate of inflation and the absence of a supermajority vote. Her affixation of this change has remained in place now for twelve years, loved by the people, lamented by the authoritarians who would rule without Tammy Simmons. It would never have occurred, or at least not occurred then. Uh, the second headline also hopeful reads, quote, death penalty showdown, unquote. And the best part is that the uh, showdown has just ended, and New Hampshire no longer has a death penalty. Perhaps there can only be, ever, anywhere, uh, two steps uh, uh, backward for every one we take toward uh, freedom. Or perhaps we are underestimating ourselves. But as even this one page of this one day evidences to those who are looking, uh, the struggle for limited governance in New Hampshire is not without its luminous moments and its political combatings not without victories. For Dr. Paul, as in uh, a doctor no, Dr. Paul. I, I, I presume it is not daily you are addressed by a head of state, uh, but perhaps you have, uh, on uh, wider occasions, encountered missives uh, from bloviators of a type well known uh, on the net, who are accoutremented uh, to look like one. 
Well, are you to assume that I have endeavored these vestments exclusively for the purpose of acquiring uh, your notice? I hope I might be forgiven for allowing that assumption uh, to go uh, uncorrected. This presentation is surely the minimum that could be hoped to even briefly command your attention, uh, knowing as we do the many duties and considerations which already struggle against one another for it. But command your attention it must, <clears throat> for this is uh, this orator uh, oratory contains within it a design which would all but assure the continuance and flourishing of human liberty for the remainder of the discernible future. This promising scheme is not my own. It is, um, it is your own. Uh, uh, um, uh, and it is, uh, It has not come to attainment only because uh, you have uh, not yet attempted to attain it. <clears throat> mm. uh, early in the year of our Saviour, 2007, before the words Ron Paul were meaningful to perhaps more than ten millions, you delivered a speech to me and roughly three hundreds of our fellow travelers in the New Hampshire Liberty Movement. In it, you mold the prospect of your first presidential run, not yet begun, and then made the following almost forgotten, but perhaps even more uh, promising uh, reference. If you said, and, uh, uh, well, I suppose I ought to, I ought to become you for the next fifty seconds. Uh, one moment. <coughs> carry on. Uh, carry on. Uh, do not exodus. Uh, uh, now, now I can, uh, <laughs> now I am Ron Paul. I am uh, Ron Paul. I am biking. It's 110 degrees. Happily biking. Biking along, 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 uh, happily biking. Ron Paul. Yes, there he was. I was Ron Paul. Oh, wait. wait. I, need, I need to continue being Ron Paul for another fifty seconds, perhaps. Uh, you, if you said, uh, and well, um, if you said, uh, if I, Ron Paul, were to suffer ignominious defeat, or perhaps uh, even before the primaries, uh, in or perhaps even before the primaries, then I should, I should perhaps consider a relocation to the promising green hills of New Hampshire, and there perhaps undertake a drive for statewide office. <clears throat> Ah. Very, very tiring. Very, very tiring being Ron Paul. Uh. Mm. Um. Uh. Stay with office. Now, um, I hope I may be forgiven for paraphrasing from memory. A recording of the speech is regrettably not availing itself. But there it was, the great secret of the world in 2007. A simple relocation to New Hampshire by a Congressman Paul. But hardly anyone saw it. And those that did, I among them, uh, labored in vain, perhaps not hardily enough, uh, to draw attention to it. Uh, nevertheless, your proposal, despite now tottering on the edge of historical oblivion, remains brilliant in its simplicity and will, if undertaken, surely have an electrical effect. Uh, this, we may calculate, would first take the form of an oxygenating publicity. Uh, then, for you, a moderate, mo mo moderate, <laughs> but, uh, uh, but notable increase in your own uh, freedom and safety. In fact, if you are, as I believe you are, uh, anything like the, the two odd thousands of us who, uh, who preceded you here, uh, then, then this is uh, certainly to be the case. New and promising latitude of successful civic action would follow, should you choose uh, to inflict it. Uh, there would be uh, imaginative pledges and immigrations, which uh, otherwise would not. A general flowering of activity, which otherwise would not. 
and if it was your slightly aforted desire, you would, in all probability, see laws repeal, enforcers reconsider, elections triumph, and all those shining completions, albeit on a smaller scale, that you are so consistently denied while within the federal sarcophagus. And you were told that it's really not, General Laddering will not, a moth could almost fly, yes, uh, I'm a moth, you are an eagle, uh, oh, all, all in this pro, uh, the prodigious region is crowned by the empowering specter of limiting, although not ravishing, wait, no, <laughs> it's the empowering specter of limited, uh, though ravishing, as you can see, geography, plus accessible civics and achievable aims. These latter, if implemented even by half, would construct an unassailable freedom beacon and uh, provoke a further constructive action. Regionally, it would surely compel into the public memory of your own historical mission. But uh, when, we, when we peer backward uh, through the veil of decades, at the, the Douglases and the Mondales, uh, the Harts and the Stevenses, we scarcely even see them, uh, though these we perhaps see uh, least badly of the lot, and some have not even yet uh, passed beyond the rim. A presidential campaign, even one as uh, auspicious as yours, uh, does not uh, indicate a notable space in history or a memorable effect upon future policy to leave your imprint here and in our books of statute would leave it more greatly upon posterity. On so many regrettable occasions we freedom folk have, uh, have heard it asked and could not well respond. Uh, where have a Congressman Paul's uh, voluntarist schemes shown themselves to be uh, uh, fruitful? Uh, where have they, they even been undertaken in whole? Uh, there must be a place to which we may point and say, uh, uh, here, uh, here it has been done, uh, and uh, here uh, been proven. Uh, we, would, uh, we would have proven it a dozen years uh, previously, but just happened to do it this month, because uh, Dr. Paul spent a few thousands of dollars on Lipinski, found himself suddenly a score of times more potent, and put us over the top. Let this be what happens. If Mrs. Paul is up to the strain, now, and not a dozen years hence, let it unfold now, or at least its contemplation, a migratory example to stir the globe with a sight not once seen before, and never hence to be surpassed. We need you, Dr. Paul. Uh, the remainder of the world's freedom of faction needs you. And it needs you here in New Hampshire. This message is in part for the uh, the ears and consciences of those operatives and ministers who call themselves uh, the town of Belmont, New Hampshire. Additionally, the law firm, uh, which has uh, which has taken upon itself to represent them. Other New Hampshire political operatives who may have implicated themselves in the acts of invasion uh, detailed below may also find interest in, in this oration. Many of you and your deeds are referenced. 
Listen with care. During the year of our Lord, whose golden rule you violate, 2018, the soulless and yet perhaps humanly vindictive machinery of your unproductive edifices descended upon the humble yet apparently harmless property of a government volunteer we know as State Representative Mike Sylvia. Uh, to say that he is a volunteer uh, may be over generous, for he does uh, receive from the seat at Concord uh, a salary of one hundred dollars uh, per annum. For the uninitiated, New Hampshire's legislature is one of the few on the globe which possess what we, we might call and easily identify as a uh, a liberty faction. Though unworthy, as perhaps all are unworthy, of any special treatment under the law. The representative Sylvia stands out, even within that faction, having won the coveted Legislator of the Year Award from the, uh, from the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. He is also, at last glance, the elected chairman of Belknap County's delegation to the State House. The old lion whose uh, uh, accoutrements I mimic once said, while invoking against the European despotisms of old, quote, a state of society where a businessman or small shopkeeper ruins his competitor by telling tales about his private opinion, such a state of society uh, cannot long endure if it is continually in contact with the healthy outside world." Unquote. Here the target of suppression is partially different and not nearly so private, but the remedy of sunlight is much the same. Here the authoritarian politician or functionary endeavors to ruin or gridlock their small government competition. They find, as it is woefully easy to find, a minor violation, or perhaps not minor, by the target victim, the like of which is near impossible to avoid committing in an empire with over 200 thousands of law pages. Some say that it is, uh, it is closer to two millions, uh, but they have lost count. Uh, they, uh, they then undertake to ensure that um, occasional dissident, uh, the occasional dissident, or liberty-leaning official, is held tight to the almost numberless constraints in the most uh, ruthless and thorough manner practical, a process against which the establishment figures appear by contrast to live a charmed immunity uh, by these methods with the centaur is meant uh, to be reduced or the frugal official punished for their reticence to help impose a rapidly growing expenditure of tax dollars uh, perhaps along these lines or perhaps just by remarkable concurrence, in May of 2018, a letter appeared in the Laconia Daily Sun. It alleged Sylvia had not lived the required number of years in New Hampshire before taking office. A uh, Sheriff's Department investigation has accused Mr. Sylvia of guilt and referred the issue to the state's attorney general. We are so often told that sheriff's offices do little in New Hampshire. <clears throat> Perhaps uh, this office was unusually motivated. The matter is pending, but the allegations would be difficult to prove. It would have to be shown that Representative Sylvia was not residing in New Hampshire 
as far back as at least uh, to uh, uh, November of 2010. Uh, this epistle to the Sun, an industrious and urgently worded document, was in a sense commendable for its watchdoggery of government. Would that such watchdoggery were uh, less selectively aimed against the uh, against the friend of the watchdoggerous. Mm. The um, meanwhile, the uh, Belmont town government began a process of monitoring and suing Representative Sylvia over various alleged violations of his own property, often referred to in the public parlance as victimless crimes. He denied that they were even this, and claimed to be in compliance with both statute and ordinance. The allegation of running for office before the law allows should not be treated with contempt. And, uh, contempt should not be treated with, it should not be treated with uh, contempt. And the act, if proven, uh, should not be countenanced. It seems questionable uh, that it even happened. And still more unlikely that proof to the contrary uh, can be produced. But it is said that one may know a villain by his grievances. That within this context, um, uh, that, that within context, all those grievances are subject to scrutinization including the peripheral. If these do not recount a threat or act of aggression, then most probably they are indeed the grievances of an evildoer. And oh, what wretched and ciliary grievances have been proffered against this, the perhaps least of <coughs> offensive of state officials. For we may hope that Representative Sylvia will remain of sturdy heart and refuse to succor the parasiticals with such tributes, which they will surely use to torment others undeserving. This program is brought to you by Freekeen.com. You may wish before the traumatical hearing of this to avert your gazings, to muffle your ears, or sequester your children. Number one, living in his own uh, recreational vehicle. While uh, parked on his own property. Number two, failing to acquire governmental permission for the above. Number three, lacking a record of a working septic system, something which is uh, in a sense included almost by definition in the type of vehicle uh, Representative Sylvia is accused of owning. Oh, uh, the humanity. You may now uncover your ears. <clears throat> what, you ask, is the penalty this institution is attempting, uh, attempting to levy against, uh, against these uh, purported tiny breaches of the rules? They're so petty, if they even happened, that so mo uh, most of you probably did not know they were breaches. Breaches. They were breaches, as it turns out. That, as it turns out, is a matter of no large import, uh, barely even worth mentioning. The town merely wants from him legal fees. Uh, plus uh, $160,000. Uh, 
we may ask ourselves, is this petty crusade greedier than gecko, one which is uh, so vital that taxpayers should be compelled to underwrite judges and courtrooms for the process? Perhaps many more expenses than this. But we may hope that Representative Sylvia will remain of sturdy heart and refuse to succor the parasiticals with such tributes, which they will surely use to torment others undeserving. Meanwhile, a sequence of options is always available on the workbench for reacting to intrusions of this variety upon private properties. If you lament, as I lament, this rapacious, potentially life-crushing muggerage of our ally, suspiciously or accidentally configured, so as to inflict the maximum possibly lawful terror upon all contemplating fiscally frugal public office. There are, uh, there are measures available. There is, of course, the apparatus of the, the demonstration. Perhaps it would, would, uh, it would not be inappropriate if one or more of these were lawfully undertaken outside uh, the homes of the perpetrators, for it is a, a home they have a comp, uh, accosted. Uh, the specter of a right to know requests, of thrusting the tail further into the public consciousness, knowledge of which can only undermine the alleged legitimacy of that institution styling itself as the town of Belmont, and of monopoly civic governance in general. Uh, that is the measure uh, I have been undertaking thus far uh, upon the local uh, talk radio airwaves, but I cannot, uh, I cannot underwrite them all. There is the challenging, uh, I cannot... Uh, <laughs> definitely cannot underwrite them all. I cannot undertake them all. <clears throat> uh, there is the challenging of... Um, mm, oh, oh, I, am not, uh, I am not correctly positioned. There, there is the challenging uh, for election of those who are... Uh, uh, those diselectable office holders who are, uh, if any, who bear responsibility for this abortion of justice. Oh, yeah, yes. Ah, this abortion of justice, and um, mm, ah, there is um, there is the specter specter of investigations, uh, preferably private, in uh, in in their funding. Yeah. Uh, preferably not tax funded against the accusators and invaders themselves not all of these implementations will implement but we may hope the deeper our authoritarian foes push into this section of front the more formidable the defenses will become they have not been formidable yet. But neither has the foray shown itself obviously profitable to the enemy yet. It took four dozens of months for the fabled and largely, uh, uh, largely uh, mm, successful resistance against Ward Bird's prosecution at Moultonboro to become visible. Perhaps in this case as well, time is on the side of the freedomist. Nevertheless, we must ask, and ask you uh, to answer 
in the comments below. Which of the above maneuvers, or of your own devising, will you undertake this week, or this year, to defend Mr. Sylvia's right of property that he, uh, now that he has taken office, and there, for over half a decade, so well defended yours? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by ShireSociety.com. Join up and move to New Hampshire for more freedom.